In this video, I'm talking about the Nuclea 7 cochlear implant sound processor from Cochlear. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. When your hearing loss has reached the point that hearing aids are no longer an effective treatment option for you, it is likely that you will end up becoming a cochlear implant candidate. And if this is you, you're gonna have to start making decisions on which cochlear implant manufacturer has the products that best suit your needs. Now, if this is the first time that you've heard about cochlear implants, let me explain to you how they work. First, sound is picked up by the microphones on a sound processor. The sound processor converts this sound into a digital signal that is transferred to the coil. The coil then sends this information to an implant that is under your skin. The implant sends this digital signal through an electrode to the cochlea, which is your hearing organ. Your auditory nerve fibers pick up these digital signals in the form of electrical impulses. These impulses travel up the nerve to the brain where your brain interprets the sound, which results in hearing. While the Nucleus 7 processor is an impressive piece of technology, no processor works without the actual implant. So let me give you a close up look of what the implant actually looks like. This is what is implanted underneath your scalp and then is inserted into your cochlea. You can see the magnet right here that attaches to the T-coil. The T-coil is on the outside of your scalp and this magnet is underneath your scalp. You can also see the electrode as it dangles down here by the palm of my hand. That is actually what gets inserted into your cochlea. All cochlear implants from this particular company has 22 electrodes and they have the thinnest electrodes in the industry at 0.3 millimeters at the tip and 0.6 millimeters at the base. These implants are extremely reliable, meaning that once you get them put in, they are going to be there for a long time and they are going to work. They also have backwards compatibility. So when new processors come out down the road, and of course I'll make videos for those as well, you will not have to go through an additional surgery to replace the implant because it will work with all future processors that Cochlear develops. And don't worry, surgery for these are not a big deal. You go in in the morning and later on that day, you actually go home. And some people don't even use very much pain medication following the surgery. That's how minimally invasive it is. But now onto the exciting part, the Cochlear Nucleus 7 sound processor. On a side note, there is an off the ear processor, one that does not actually sit on top of your ear. It is called the Canso. I will be making a review video about that product in the future. But for right now, let's go over the cool features of this guy. Cool feature number one has to be Bluetooth connectivity. The Cochlear Nucleus 7 can directly connect with an Apple device. That means an iPhone, it means an iPad, it means an iTouch, and you can stream audio directly from those devices into the cochlear implant. You do not need some kind of intermediary device like a clip that you would clip onto your shirt or anything that you wear around your neck. You can take it right from your device into the cochlear implant. Here's the other cool thing about the Bluetooth connectivity. If you are a bimodal individual, meaning you have a sound processor and implant on one side and you have a hearing aid still on the other side, as long as that hearing aid is a resound hearing aid that is either part of their squared, 3D, or quattro lines, you can stream the audio both into your sound processor and to your hearing aid at the same time. This Bluetooth connectivity also lets you directly connect with other wireless accessories from Cochlear, including the TV streamer and the mini microphone 2 plus. And number two on the list of cool things about the Nucleus 7 has to be the Nucleus Smart app. This app lets you adjust the volume of what you're hearing and it lets you adjust the sensitivity of your microphones as well. You can change the programs between scan and whatever programs your audiologist adds during your programming sessions. You can adjust your audio sources, which can include a mini microphone, a TV streamer, and the telecoil. And you can even adjust the streaming volume for these audio sources separately from your processor microphone volume, so you can control exactly what you want or don't want to hear. The other things you can find on the app are a Find My Processor feature, which helps you locate a lost processor first on a map, then by using Bluetooth strength to hone in on its exact location. And you can even run a diagnostic of your system, which includes battery life and the status of your processor. And the best part is the Nucleus Smart app is available for both Apple and Android devices. Number three is the scan program, which uses Smart Sound IQ. 
Hearing aids are becoming well known for making automatic adjustments based on the environments that you're in to put you in program settings that are best for that particular environment. This is what the SCAN program does. SCAN actually stands for Scene Analysis. This program uses the Nucleus's dual microphones to determine which environment that you are in and automatically classifies you into the correct environment. And this program works so well that it actually improves speech understanding by 28% when you're in a noisy situation. And fourth on the list of cool things about the Nucleus 7 processor is the Cochlear website actually lets you build your own Nucleus 7. After picking the color of your processor and coil, you can select up to four accessories that you want. At the time of this recording, your options include a mini microphone 2 plus, a phone clip, a TV streamer, retention accessories, additional battery and charger options, and an aqua kit. This is the waterproofing accessory that lets you take your sound processor into a pool or any other environment that you would have water. There is a remote control that comes with your processor and does not count towards one of your four accessories. But perhaps the best accessory is the Plus One program. The Plus One program lets you delay getting one of your accessories for up to a year. This way you have some time to kind of play with your processor and see which one of those accessories you would actually like the best. Now, as awesome as the Cochlear Nucleus 7 sound processor is, there are a few things that I would like Cochlear to do. And the first one is have a cross option. Now, depending on how good your hearing is in your opposite ear, so I'm talking about the ear that does not have an implant, it may not make a whole lot of sense to put a hearing aid on that ear if you could put a cross transmitter on that ear. What that would do is it would collect sound from that side in that ear that you don't really use that well, and it routes that sound over to your processor so you can actually hear it. This would allow you to do two different things. It would allow you to understand speech better from your non-implanted side, and it would also allow you to preserve your cochlea just in case there are some other restorative treatment options down the road. The other thing that I would like to see is direct streaming capability from devices other than Apple devices. And while I have an Apple iPhone, I don't use it. I use an Android device. And so if I ended up getting a Nucleus 7 sound processor, I would have to make an even more difficult decision of would I be able to switch over to an iPhone. Overall, the Nucleus 7 sound processor is a fantastic option for anyone considering cochlear implantation. However, I do recommend researching all of your options before ultimately deciding on which company you're going to go with. But if you want a great reliable implant with a processor that is loaded with a bunch of amazing features, then I highly recommend putting the Nucleus 7 on your list of devices to consider. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.